It's the third and final matchup, and in this episode, you will crown the winner of the Affordable Assault. Four great camper vans have gone head-to-head -head in two semifinal battles. In our first matchup, two affordable road truck models battled it out the Zion SRT with its sensible rear sofa slash lounge configuration, and the Simplicity SRT with its permanent rear bed and its mantra of less is more. The Simplicity SRT just barely eked out a win over the Zion SRT to earn itself a place in today's finals. In our second matchup, one of America's best-selling Class Bs, the Winnebago Travato 59G, went head-to-head -head against one of the shortest camper vans here in North America, the Axion by Corrado. The Travato's laundry list of standard features and compelling price allowed it to triumph over the very capable Axion. Who will win today's affordable assault final? We're going to find out as the battle between the Travato 59G and the Simplicity SRT starts right now. Hi everyone, and thanks for joining me on Ultra Mobility Head to Head, where RVs battle it out until there's just one winner left standing. I'm your host, Neil Balthaser, and today we're going to find out which coach earns its place as the winner of the Affordable Assault, the Travato 59G by Winnebago or the Simplicity SRT by Road Trek. Two great coaches by two great coach builders. Across three rounds, these two vans will battle it out with you, the viewers, deciding which one earns the crown. Since this isn't a review, we won't be covering each and every feature, only their differences. So it's highly recommended that you watch the full review of each of these coaches before watching this comparison series. I'll put the links in the video description below. Let's get round one started. These coaches are going to go head to head comparing chassis specs, exterior detailing, hookups, dimensions, and capacities. First off, engine specs are evenly matched here because both coaches are built on the Ram ProMaster chassis. All ProMasters get the exact same engine, a 3.6 liter V6 gas engine with an automatic six-speed transmission that's capable of delivering up to 280 horsepower and 260 pound-feet of torque. But that SRT moniker in Simplicity SRT stands for short, and that's because it's built on the ProMaster 2500 chassis, which is the medium-length ProMaster chassis measuring just 19 feet 6 inches in length, while the Travato is built on the longest ProMaster 3500 chassis, measuring 20 feet 11 inches in length. That's a 1.5 foot difference in length, which does make the Simplicity SRT more maneuverable and slightly easier to park. How about exterior detailing and amenities? Both are pretty clean looking with no swoopy graphics and subtle branding. The Travato has a standard stainless steel valance trim and an optional lighted running board, neither of which are available on the Simplicity SRT. And the Travato has both its electrical and city water fill hookups located up high, while on the Simplicity SRT both are located down low on the back. The Travato also has a standard electric awning, as well as a standard exterior shower, exterior service center lighting, and exterior speakers. On the Simplicity SRT, the awning is manual, the exterior shower is optional, and there are no available exterior service center lights or speakers. Moving on to occupant and cargo carrying capacity, the Simplicity SRT's rating is a healthy 1,595 pounds, while the Travado's is 1,921 pounds, so about 300 pounds more. The Simplicity SRT's big strength this round is its shorter length, but we're already seeing that the Travado has more standard features, something that's likely to continue as we advance to round two. In this round, we're comparing layouts and checking off the features for the galleys, lounges, bedrooms, and bathrooms. Will the Travato put its one and a half feet of extra length to good use, or will the Simplicity SRT's keep in its simple mantra win the day? Let's find out. Both the Travato and the Simplicity SRT come with two different floor plans. The Travato 59G has a permanent lounge up front and a garage slash bedroom in the back, but you can opt for the 59K's layout, which has two twin beds and a large rear permanent bathroom. On the Simplicity SRT, there's a standard permanent rear bed and a front lounge, or you can opt for a rear sofa bed layout that gives you the flexibility of having both a lounge in the front and the back. 
Let's start off by comparing the bedrooms. The 59G's bed measures 77 by 46 inches, so it's 5 inches longer, but a whopping 14 inches less wide than the Simplicity SRT's 72 by 60 inch bed. But that extra length on the Travado's bed is misleading because the end of the bed is tapered and only the person sleeping on the driver's side benefits from the full length. Both the beds on these coaches can be permanent, meaning you don't have to set them up, but the Travato 59G's bed can be flipped up to give you pass-through storage. On the Simplicity SRT, you have storage under the bed, and that storage can be accessed from both inside and outside the coach, but there's no pass-through storage since the bed is fixed. The Travato's bed uses memory foam and is supported by the Frolly Sleep System, neither of which are used on the Simplicity, but honestly, I didn't feel much of a difference between the two beds. One benefit the Simplicity has over the Travato is an optional 24-inch LCD TV in the bedroom. The Travato's TV is located in the front lounge. Speaking of which, the Travato has a second bed that can be set up in the front lounge. That bed measures 72 by 42 inches, so nearly the same size as its rear bed. Not quite wide enough for two adults, but large enough for one. But surprise, the Simplicity SRT also has an optional front bed system that goes across the front seat and measures 70 by 33 inches. So fairly evenly matched, it seems, in the bedroom department with the Simplicity SRT having the larger bed but no pass-through storage like you have on the Travato. Let's see how their lounges compare. Both these lounges are located at the front of the van and both smartly utilize the swiveling cab seats to transform the cab into a living area. Both coaches feature a table for the lounge as well. Setup is easy on the Simplicity SRT, just insert a pedestal table leg and pop the top on. But on the Travato, there is no setup required since the table is permanent and the swivel out extension is integrated. Also, the Travato 59G can seat five, while the Simplicity SRT can only seat two. Keep in mind, however, that you can opt for the rear sofa slash bed configuration on the Simplicity SRT if having a larger lounge is important to you. In that configuration, the rear lounge can seat four. The TVs in both these coaches are placed in an unfortunate position. In the Travato 59G, it's mounted to the side, and on the standard configuration of the Simplicity SRT, you have to swivel out the TV in the bedroom to watch it up front. But the Travato's TV is a standard feature, while it's optional on the Simplicity SRT. As far as number of three-point seat belts, both the Travato 59G and the standard configuration of the Simplicity SRT have only two three-point seat belts, and those are for the cab seats. But if carrying four passengers in three-point seat belts is important to you, then you can opt for the rear sofa slash bed configuration in the Simplicity SRT for $1,000 and gain two more three-point seat belts, something that's not possible in any Travato layout. Okay, time to move on to the galleys. Even though the Simplicity SRT is one and a half feet shorter than the Travato, its galley is about the same size. It has a similar flip-up counter extension, the same two burner propane stove, and about the same sized stainless steel sink. The sink on the Travato, however, is a marine style sink, which means that the faucet folds down into it. Sometimes marine style sinks have the problem that the faucet turns on when you close the lid. Something you won't have to worry about on the Simplicity SRT since it has a residential style faucet. The Travato, however, has a nice thick piece of Corian for the countertop, while on the Simplicity SRT, the countertop is a laminate. I like the window Winnebago put in their galley, but the stainless steel backsplash on the Simplicity SRT is both functional and looks great. As far as storage, surprisingly, the Simplicity keeps up with the Travato with just as much under counter storage. And while it doesn't have a cupboard above like the Travato, it does have a nice pull out pantry and a deep pots and pans drawer that the Travato doesn't have. The Travato does have a wardrobe closet next to the refrigerator, but I wouldn't consider that kitchen storage. Both galleys feature a properly placed rooftop fan for ventilation, and both coaches have large compressor refrigerators that are placed at a sensible height. But the Travato's refrigerator is one cubic foot larger at six cubic feet and has a separate freezer. And its microwave is larger 
and doubles as a convection oven. Finally, the Travato features whole coach water filtration standard, which the Simplicity SRT doesn't offer. Let's compare these coaches' electrical systems. They both have similar capacity AGM lead acid batteries, but the Simplicity has a standard inverter that's twice the Travato's size at 2,000 watts. But the Travato comes standard with 200 watts of solar and a standard 2.8 kilowatt gas generator as compared to the standard engine alternator that the Simplicity SRT uses. And keep in mind that there is no solar option on the Simplicity SRT. Neither of these coaches feature multiplex wiring, and while both can be upgraded to an underhood generator, only the Travato can be upgraded to the GL model that supports Winnebago's Pure 3 lithium system by Volta that gives you 8,700 watt hours or around 700 amp hours of lithium, a beefy underhood generator, and a 3,000 watt inverter. That upgrade, however, will cost you somewhere in the neighborhood of $20,000 and that would move the Travato out of the affordability zone. But it's important to note that for folks that absolutely want or need lithium, only the Travato offers a lithium upgrade path. It's the standard AGM lead acid batteries or nothing on the Simplicity SRT. Let's finish up this round by comparing bathrooms and tank sizes. The Travato 59G has one of the largest bathrooms in the Class B segment measuring 28 by 51 inches. It's much larger and feels more open and spacious than the Simplicity SRTs. Both these bathrooms are three-piece wet baths. That means they both have sinks, toilets, and showers, and all three pieces share the same area. The Travato has a bit more storage with a medicine cabinet behind the toilet and a waterproof bin under the sink. The toilet paper holder on the Travato is also enclosed behind a waterproof door. On the Simplicity SRT, there are shelves in the wall with nice brushed metal stays to keep items in place. But one thing missing on the Simplicity SRT is rooftop ventilation. On the Travato, there's a powered rooftop vent dedicated to the bathroom, but the Travato also requires a pump to be turned on when using the sink or shower in order to move the water from a temporary holding tank in the bathroom to the gray water tank. That's an unnecessary nuisance not present on the Simplicity SRT. As far as tank sizes, the Simplicity SRT just blows the Travato out of the water. Its freshwater tank is two thirds larger at 35 gallons to the Travato's 21. Gray water capacity on the Simplicity SRT is twice the Travato's at nearly 23 gallons compared to the 11 gallon capacity on the Travato. But the Travato has a meaningfully larger black water capacity at 15 gallons compared to the Simplicity SRT's 9.6 gallons. The Simplicity SRT has a macerator pump for emptying its tanks, while the Travato relies on the tried and true gravity never fails system. The Travato also has a standard black tank flush system, which is missing on the Simplicity SRT. Okay, that wraps up round two. We're starting in the third and final round, and we're comparing options, build quality, price, and warranties. Let's just get this out of the way up front. The Simplicity SRT has six times, six times the warranty length of the Travato at six years compared to the Travato's one year. Plus, it offers two years of roadside assistance, neither of which the Travato can match. It cannot be understated how much of a huge win the superior warranty is for the Simplicity SRT. This warranty gap is surprising considering that a fully loaded Simplicity SRT, and that includes Volt Start, Rotrex, Remote Engine Start System, an underhood generator, a 24 inch LCD TV, exterior shower, side and rear screen doors, and the rear electric sofa bed with additional three point seat belts can be found online with dealer pricing around 75,000. While base model Travato 59Gs can be found for about 85,000. That's a big $10,000 difference. But keep in mind that base model Travatos include a bunch of standard features that are not available on the Simplicity SRT, like its larger refrigerator with separate freezer, a convection microwave, whole coach water filtration, exterior speakers with service center lighting, a power awning, the excellent Truma Combi heater and water heater system, which provides ducted heating, a gas generator, 
and perhaps most significantly of all, an interior fresh water tank with interior water lines and available heating pads for the gray tank, all of which make the Travato much more four season capable. And in addition to these standard features, the Travato offers a ton of optional features that are both affordable and not available on the Simplicity SRT, like a bike rack for $1,000, a ladder for around $600, a roof rack for $1,000, dual pane acrylic windows for $1,700, and a decor upgrade to high gloss cabinetry for $377. Finally, let's talk about fit and finish and build quality. The Travato definitely has a higher fit and finish. The cabinets feel more solid. The countertop in the galley is a thick piece of Corian versus a laminate. And in general, the materials on the Travato look and feel nicer. However, unlike the Travato, the Simplicity SRT doesn't use stick framing and staples behind the scenes to hold cabinets together. Okay, that wraps up our third and final round. So now the time of judgment is upon us and you get to vote to determine the winner of this final head-to-head -head affordable assault. Is it Roadtrex Simplicity SRT with its lower price, six-year warranty, and simple everything you need and nothing you don't philosophy? Or is it Winnebago Travato's 59G, a slightly higher priced coach that gives you a ton of standard features and options not even available on the Simplicity SRT. Vote now by heading over to my community tab. I'll put a link in the video description below, or if you're on a computer, just click the little eye icon in the upper right hand corner of your screen. When the voting's complete and the poll is closed, I'll let you know who I voted for. And as always, if you like this head to head, then you know what I'm gonna ask you to do. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe and Ring that little bell to be notified when new head-to-head -head comparisons come out. And if you like honest comparisons like this, ones not sponsored by RV manufacturers, then a one-time tip via PayPal or a regular pledge via Patreon both help me out tremendously. The links are in the video description below. Okay, that wraps up this affordable assault final. Thanks so much for watching Ultra Mobility Head to Head, where RVs battle it out until there's just one left standing. I'll see you next time, everyone. Take care. Bye bye. The sink on the Travato, however, is a marine style. Sometimes marine style sinks. I wanted to say sometimes marine style stinks, and they do. On the Simplicity SLT, the aren't, uh, okay, I'll get it right. There's then the, but it's five inches, but a whopping 14 inches less wide than the Simplicity, uh, okay.